What's up guys, Brian here with Shiny Tech Things, where we take things seriously, and on today's Technical Support Tuesday, I'm going to go ahead and take this older Dell and upgrade the Wi-Fi card to a dual-band wireless card. So first we're going to go ahead and flip this over, and then go ahead and take out the battery. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the bottom of the chassis. Now that I've got it open, I'm going to go ahead and blow it out real quick. Dust it all out. Alright, and you can see the wireless card right here. Go ahead and see if I can zoom that in here for you guys. There we go. So now we're going to go ahead and remove these uh, antennas right here. And here on the wireless card you can see that it has a black arrow and a white arrow. So the black arrow goes to the black antenna wire and the white arrow to the white antenna wire. So now that I have these disconnected, now I'm going to go ahead and remove this screw. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up the new wireless card here that I've got. And I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below for you if you want to check that out. And before installing it, I just want to go ahead and show you that they are the same type of connector here. Right? It's just that this card has uh, dual band connectivity whereas this one just has a standard 2.4 gigahertz. So now I'm going to go ahead and slide that back in and screw the screw back in to hold that back down. There we go. And now we just go ahead and reattach the wires. Now if you look at this, I'm not sure how clear this is on the camera, but you can see that uh, it basically has this tiny little circle on the inside, and that's where that tiny little pin right here fits inside of there. Now you gotta be careful when you're putting this back on, you wanna have it right on top of it before you apply any pressure so that you don't bend that pin. Otherwise you're gonna have to replace it. Okay, when I apply pressure, I just kinda wiggled it back and forth, and then it clipped right into place. Let's do this on the second one. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now that I got the card swapped out for the new one, I'm going to go ahead and put the bottom of the chassis back on. And you can see here there are like these little uh, lips to the clip there. And those clip right into the actual base of the uh, the laptop here. 
on the chassis. There we go, so just clip that in. And now we just go ahead and screw all the screws back in. And then we just go ahead and boot it back up. So after installing the drivers and disabling the onboard Bluetooth on the Dell, I was able to verify that it's working here under show the Bluetooth devices. And this no longer gives an error. And if I go ahead and add a Bluetooth device, it will go ahead and scan and pick up different items that are around me. Also under the network adapters, we can see here the Qualcomm QCA9377. And we can see here, we got the driver right from uh, Qualcomm for June 14th, 2020. So after adding this card, this machine is now able to connect to five gigahertz networks, as well as utilize the Bluetooth that is part of the Ethereos chipset. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video informative and beneficial to you. And if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you didn't like this video, well, you made it all the way through, so why not just go ahead and smash like anyways, as it does help out my small channel. Also consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one.